Peace in, everyone. My name is Trey McVell, and I am bringing you the movie pie for gravity. Welcome, my fellow fans of film. Join the conversation as we do a detailed review of Gravity, the uh, survival movie in space. I mean, it's time to venture away from Earth. And, um, you know, guys, speaking of venturing away from Earth, I felt like I was transported into space when I saw the first trailer for this movie. I don't know if you guys remember that first trailer. But for me, when I saw that first trailer, it had me hooked. I mean, it was it was a great trailer. And one of the reasons it had me hooked, not only because it was a great trailer, was the, the other reason is this. I thought it was it seemed like a very fresh movie. Now, I have seen movies in space before, but the way they pre presented this movie in the trailer made me feel like, oh, wow, this is something different. This is a survival movie in space like we've never seen before and i i was very excited so invited so excited in fact that uh true story i actually took my wife to go see this movie uh in theater uh, when we were on a mini vacation we kind of did like an outdoorsy kind of thing uh, where we stayed in like this cabin and um you know went out into town and was like you know what let's see what we can do out in town and sure enough i was intrigued enough with this movie that i said let's go see this movie even though we're supposed to be doing this camping stuff but whatever it is what it is um now here's the thing if you haven't you know seen or heard about this movie before here's a brief synopsis it's basically about two astronauts working together so they can survive after an accident which basically leaves them stranded in space that is the basic point of this movie and if you haven't checked out a movie pie before this will be a detailed review so i'm going to tell you right now as a warning there will be spoilers in this conversation so if you haven't checked out this movie go ahead and check out the movie then come back and watch this movie review this movie detailed review so, and and of course if you're someone that don't care about spoilers hey you're welcome too um now this is what we're gonna do we're gonna dive into the slices of this movie pie that will be the screenplay, the performances. Uh, of course, we'll dive into the visuals and we'll dive into the audio, the direction. And then the last slice being the experience. We'll dive into Trey's tweaks for a little bit, talk about what I would have changed in the movie. Then we'll wrap it all up with the entire movie pie. What is the score in the, uh, uh, for this movie? Without further ado, I'm going to dive into the first slice of this movie pie, and that would be the screenplay. Even though this story is, yes, a simple one, the screenplay of this movie is filled with depth. Oh, my goodness. You know, one of the here's the thing. It, it's filled with depth of character. It's filled with depth of dialogue and the story itself is filled with depth. So, yes, just because it is simple does not mean that it is thin. I really enjoyed the screenplay. I, I really enjoyed this slice of the pie. And the first reason why I enjoyed it was because of the characters. Folks, you have Ryan, which is Sandra Bullock's character. And of course, Matt, George Clooney's character. These characters were real characters. They felt like real people. I thought the screenplay did a great job at bringing enough background for both of these characters to where I instantly understood them and I instantly knew who these characters were. But it didn't give me too much because it alluded to some of their background and it gave us enough of their background, but definitely leaving me 
you know, salivating for more information on these two individuals. So they did a great job with character. And another thing the screenplay did was a great job with the dialogue. The dialogue between the characters in this movie, uh, the dialogue between Sandra Bullock and herself as she's kind of talking, uh, kind of self-coaching herself and talking to herself, like just the dialogue across the board was fantastic. Like I felt like it was so real, natural, seamless. And it was filled with with depth. I, I guess I keep using that word because it's true. Like I felt deeply connected to the characters um, because of their backstory, but also because of the dialogue between them. I, I felt like the dialogue was natural, but it, at the same time, it was very intriguing. And the other thing uh, about the screenplay is, yes, folks, the story actually made sense. It felt like it worked on a natural level. It's such a simple level that, hey, you have this accident happen, uh, just a r random accident, accidents happen, except for when you when you have an accident in space, it draws dire consequences and you see the real um, the mortality of, of these characters through the dire consequences of these accidents. And it felt realistic. It felt natural. Um, and, and it just, you know, it was very scientific. Um, and I, I just felt very uh, intrigued by all of that. But I have to say, the one problem I had with the screenplay was, uh, you know, that scene where Matt uh, says, you know, you're going to have to let me go or we both will die. You know, that part where Ryan's character was, you know, kind of entangled um, and then she was holding on to the rope uh, with with Matt. And uh, she was basically pulling them along like they, they were basically uh, she was stalling uh, because she was entangled. And Matt says, hey, you're going to have to let me go or we both will die. That part was it bothered me <laughs> throughout the movie. Honestly, I felt like it could have been written a, a bit better. Uh, in fact, I feel like it was could have been written a, a lot better. And the reason is this. It's not because I believe that the Matt character shouldn't have died. No, absolutely. I agree 100% um, that that character died. I mean, the screenplay, you know, you can't present dire consequences and only have one character die, which they had a character die early in the movie. And we see some other deaths in the movie. But I felt like it was very much needed for that character to die. Not only needed for the story, but also needed for the character of Ryan and Sandra Bullock's character, that character would not have been able to thrive and to change the course of her life without the Matt character dying. So it was very significant. So I don't have a problem with him dying. However, when he said that line, he said it way too immediately, like very quickly. Like it felt so quick for him to just give up so easily. Like I, I felt like it would have been written... The screenplay would have been better if they would have wrote some line or two or some kind of effort on Matt's part to try to survive, try for both of them to survive before he says that line that you're going to have to let me go or we both will die. You know, but if you go back and watch the movie, when you look at that scene, as soon as Matt sees that Ryan is entangled. He immediately says, hey, let me go. We both going to die. And it just felt like, man, that kind of feels unnatural. Like, does this guy have a death wish or something? Like, I felt like I, they should have added something in there um, right before, like before he says that line that shows that he was striving to survive. Like, you know, I get it. You know, hey, he's an experienced astronaut. He's been doing this for decades. I totally understand that he is looking at the situation, assessing it, um, saying that, you know what, this is a doom gloom situation. There's no hope here. So he goes to the conclusion that he goes to. But, you know, even if he would have just said, hey, Ryan, can you try to move your leg a little bit or just give some kind of instruction to Ryan to try to help the situation so that both of them to survive. But no, he went immediately to, hey, I got to sacrifice myself. And it just felt it felt a little, you know, rushed and it felt like, OK, you, you need it. The plot needed for this character to die. So they went immediately to him sacrificing himself. So that was a that was a part that bothered me. That was a black spot on the screenplay. But overall, I I enjoyed the screenplay throughout the movie. Um, what did you guys think about the screenplay? I know it's a thin one. I know it's a simple story. But did you feel like it had a lot of depth, like I did, or 
perhaps did you feel like you know what this is just a simple screenplay roll your eyes it didn't really do much for me comment in the section below join the conversation tell me guys what did you think i'm gonna go ahead and give this slice a score to verdict and for this slice the screenplay it gets 78 percent of 25 points and that means it is a good slice Now it's time to move on to the next slice of this movie pie, and that would be the performances. Now, of course, with a movie such as this that has really only two main characters, the performances need to be top notch. And yes, it is beyond top notch. Sandra Bullock as Ryan Stone in this movie did an amazing job. Now, Sandra Bullock, I've always contended was a fantastic actress, but I don't know what it is, but this movie is some of the best acting that I've seen out of Sandra Bullock. It was amazing. She did a great job portraying Ryan Stone because if you think about it, this, this is a character. She plays a character. This is a character who is a, an amateur <laughs> as an astronaut. Um, just a plain amateur doesn't know what she's doing and she also has got baggage she's got some background issues you know with her daughter and you know and that sort of thing and you know so she's dealing with some personal issues that has shaped her perspective on life and uh you know to really in such a way in a pessimistic kind of way really and Sandra Bullock played Ryan in such a way that I absolutely believed her character I believed that she was an amateur but I didn't believe, but I also believe that she wasn't a pushover. I believe when she made the turn, when she started to transform as a character, when she started to transform as a person and start to believe in herself and start to think more optimistically, I believe that transformation. And you know, folks, that would not have worked without Sandra Bullock's performance. Of course, right up there, George Clooney as Matt Kowalski. I absolutely believe this guy. He did an amazing job. Of course, George Clooney being a great actor himself, he did an amazing job portraying this character. And this character, this is a guy who has all the experience in a lot of ways, very much the opposite of the rhinestone character. And I believed him. I believe that Matt was an experienced uh, astronaut, a guy who's you know done this so many times <laughs> that this was his last trip. And, um, and, and I believe that, you know, he had an a, a air of optimism to himself, but it was more than optimism. It was confidence. It was this air about him that says, I've seen a lot. I've done a lot to not be freaked out by anything. And there was something very inspiring about a character like that, especially for a character like Ryan. And that would not have worked if it wasn't for George Clooney's performance so yes i believe them i believe her the two of them did a great job and yes they carried this movie as they needed to have carried this movie uh with such a story like this so what did you guys think about the two top performances of this movie did you like it did you love it like i did um did you feel like you know there were some parts that you know needed to be worked on do you agree or disagree comment in the section below join the conversation let me know in the meantime i'm going to give this slice a score and a verdict and for this slice no surprise it gets 100 percent of 20 points and that means it is a masterful slice And now it's time to move on to the next slice of this movie pie, and that would be the visuals. Of course, with a movie like this, the visuals have to be absolutely on point. Was it on point, ladies and gentlemen? Absolutely, yes. The visuals in this film were absolutely stunning. I choose the word absolutely on purpose and I'm saying it multiple times because I it was exactly what I needed and wanted out of this film and more. 
I mean, the shots of the earth literally made me want to be in space. <laughs> I mean, it literally made me like, man, I have, I want to see what the earth looks like. Uh, the visuals were inspiring in such a way that it made me truly believe that, you know, this was what, what, what was happening. It made me feel like this was a realistic shot of the earth, of, of, the, of space, like that this is exactly what it would look like if I were to go in space. That's how amazing the visuals were. But here's the other thing. The, um, it, it also had a fantastic element to it. It was magical. And part of the reason it was magical is because not just with the visual effects, uh, which this movie did obviously an amazing job, but also with the shot, the cinematography, the colors, um, just just the overall beauty um, and, and the use of contrast, the lights and the darks um, were used um, in a very impactful way. Uh, it was very good, very well done. Um, long shots, wide shots, close-up shots. Um, it was amazing. The, the close-up shots of Sandra Bullock's um, uh, face, you know, inside of the, uh, you know, of, of the helmet. Um, it was just, it was just absolutely fantastic. And one of the things that I absolutely loved about the visuals is, you know, the, the one, when you look at space, it can be boring <laughs> if you think about it, because if you look at space, it's just kind of like, you know, outside of looking at earth, it's just like, oh, it's just a bunch of nothingness. But the way that these scenes were crafted was visually stunning in such a way that there were so many different angles of space and of the things and the objects in space that I felt like I never got bored. I felt more like I wanted more and more. Like there were so many things to see and it never got boring staring at this black sky, if you will. So I absolutely love the visuals. What did you guys think uh, about this slice of the pie? Did you think that it was better than what you were expecting? Or perhaps it wasn't a quite, it lived up to the hype of what you were hoping for. For me, it lived up beyond what I was hoping for to the point where I got to give it an extra bonus point. Um, not just for the visual effects, but just the way it was shot, the cinematography, just everything about the visuals blew me away more. It gave me more than what I was hoping. But join the conversation, guys. Tell me about what you were hoping and what you thought about this slice of the pie. I'm going to give this slice a score and a verdict. And for this slice, it, the visuals, it gets 100% of five points plus an extra bonus point. And that means it is a masterful slice. Now it is time to move on to the next slice of this movie pie. And that would be the audio. As awesome as the visuals were and as great fan and fantastic as the characters were, in a story where none of it would have worked if it were, wasn't for the audio. The, the audio needed to be absolutely on point in order to truly bring all of it together. The audio was amazing. This slice of the pie was amazing on two fronts. The score. The score absolutely added tension throughout the narrative of this film. It just... just the, like, it just... It, the, the heartbeats, um, everything about the score was amazing. I love the score. But the other thing that needed to work was the sound effects because you're talking about a character who is bumbling around, knocking against things in space. So you had to believe that this is what you were hearing. Um, and I know everybody is talking about, oh, well, you know, you don't, um, you don't get, you can't hear uh, anything in space I get it but here's the thing one of the uh, amazing things about this um, you know particular movie is the way it was presented was through the character of Ryan and while she was in her suit um, and so you, it almost gave you kind of her perspective on what she felt what she heard what she saw throughout the film 
And so the way I always took it was that, you know, when she knocked against, you know, certain things, you know, that particularly that, you know, the parts where, you know, she's trying to grab against stuff and, um, you know, and she, you know, you know, kind of collides against certain things and all of the different things that takes place. Um, those times where you heard those things were the times where, you know, you were supposed to hear it because you were hearing what the character of Ryan was hearing to bring you closer to her experience. But the other thing I loved about the audio is the lack of audio. This movie understood that you cannot give us a space movie and have it be filled with noise. The score was the score when it needed to be. It showed when it, need, it, it sounded off when it needed to sound off. The sound effects were what they were when they needed to be, but it, was amazing to experience the movie just taking in the visuals and what was going on at the time of the story and the narrative of the story while hearing absolutely nothing because because that was a part of the experience so it did a, a very intelligent job the visuals i mean the audio of this uh of this particular movie what did you guys think i to me i felt like it could not have gotten better um, the audio was fantastic. This slice of the pie worked for me on so many levels. Uh, it definitely gave me more than what I was expecting from the audio. What about you guys? Did you like the audio? What did you think about that score? Um, you know, did you feel like it drew you closer into the movie or, you know, perhaps it was unnoticeable to you? Comment on the section below. Join the conversation. Tell me, what did you think about this slice of the pie? In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and give this slice a score and a verdict. And for this slice, the audio, it gets 100% of five points. And that means it is a masterful slice. Now it's time to move on to the fifth slice of this movie pie. And that would be the direction. It is always a challenge. For a director to make any movie <laughs> and uh, it certainly is a challenge for a director to make a compelling movie with just one or two characters but Alfonso Cuaron Alfonso Cuaron um, you met that challenge and you crushed it Alfonso you did a fantastic job directing this film I could not speak more highly of the job you did in this film in fact, you're going to get a bonus point for how well of a job you did in this film, particularly for how you made me care about the characters immediately. I already talked about the performances of Sandra Bullock and George Clooney, but the way you directed Sandra Bullock and George Clooney really drew out those performances in such a way that I cared about those characters immediately. In fact, before the actual disaster took place, I, at that point in the movie, already cared about Sandra Bullock's character in Ryan and um, George Clooney's character in Matt. Even before the disaster took place, that early on, you got me hooked on these characters. And it, only, a, only a director at your caliber, Alfonso, could have done that good of a job at getting me as the audience hooked in on your characters. And, and that is absolutely important with a film like this. The other thing I loved about your direction is the way you constructed those scenes. The scenes throughout this film were, it, it was such an amazing uh, task, uh, you know, to try to set up a, oh, a space movie. How do you make a space movie be interesting? Because a lot of people um, take it for granted that, yes, space in itself is interesting. It's mysterious. But that doesn't mean that just because you make a space movie that, by itself, it would be interesting to everybody. It just, that, that's not the way it is at all. Because if that was the case, all space movies would be interesting and amazing. Uh, and everybody would love all space movies, but that's not the case. You see space movies that are made um, with bad director, uh, bad directing and bad direction. So here's the thing. You made a space movie that was in, you know compelling. And one of the things that you did is the way you, moved in with the camera and moved out with the camera. I already talked about this regarding the visuals, but I want to talk about your directing of certain scenes. And one scene, one scene in particular, there's a scene that starts off in a, as a wide shot and you slowly move in 
as the, the narrative is taking place of Sandra Bullock, it was actually when she first got lost, when she first moved away uh, from uh, uh, the uh, the base. And you, you, you kind of started off wide and drew us in to Sandra all the way until you got through her helmet and to, you know, hearing what, you know, kind of experiencing what she as a character was experiencing, the oxygen level, the sounds and all of that stuff. And then from that, you drew out <laughs> of Sandra Bullock's perspective of Ryan's, pers uh, of the character of Ryan, you know, to give us a wider angle. Like there is something magical about the way you did that and subtle that I don't know if a lot of people caught, but I caught it and I absolutely award you with the amazing job that you did on this film. The direction was absolutely top notch. I thought so. What did you guys think uh, about the direction of this film? Did you care about the characters as much as I did? If you did care about the characters, perhaps you cared about them um, a little bit later in the film. Maybe it took you a little bit longer to get connected to the characters um, than it did for me. Whatever it is, please join the conversation, comment on uh, the section below, and let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this slice a score and a verdict. And for this slice, the direction, it gets 100% of 20 points, plus an extra bonus point. And that means it is a masterful slice. And now it's time to move on to the final slice of this movie pie, and that would be the experience. Have you, any of you, ever found yourself reacting physically to a movie when you're watching it? Whether that be from laughing, whether that be from crying, whether that be from jumping out of fear, just have you ever had a physical reaction while watching a film. For me, several times throughout this film, I found myself literally clenching the arms of the theater chairs because of how intense it was. Yes, that was my experience throughout this movie. My experience was amazingly positive. I thoroughly enjoyed watching this film. At no point did I ever feel bored I felt genuinely, as I mentioned several times throughout this uh, movie pie, I felt genuinely uh, 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 that I cared about what happened to the characters. You know, I, I, I really felt and also felt like, hey, I wanted to know more about the characters. Like I wanted to know more about the life of Matt and, and his background. You know, like, you know, what, you know, the, why, the fact that he was, this was his mission where he was retiring. This was his final mission. You know, what kind of life did this man live uh, back on earth. You know, I felt genuinely connected to Ryan and I wanted to know more about her background. And of course, by the time you get to the end of the movie, I was, I wanted to know more about where she was going to go from there. Like her character was genuinely transformed throughout the course of this film. I mean, it's certainly after anybody go through an experience such as this, you, you have, you can't help but be transformed. You can't help but have a paradigm shift on the way you look at the world and the way you look at life. And certainly our character, Ryan, had a, had a shift in the way she saw life. And so, yes, by the time you get to the end of the movie, I felt not only genuinely concerned, and of course, the way the movie was constructed, it was so amazing because it ended with her walking out onto a wilderness. And you almost kind of get this feeling, at least I did, the, the experience that I had was like, man, she just went through an incredible ordeal her walking into the wilderness, having survived that, is like a cakewalk for this character. That's the way I felt. And it, and it kind of encapsulated for me that this character could, there's nothing that she could not conquer having experienced what she experienced. So walking into a wilderness was nothing for her. There was nothing that she couldn't conquer for life. And so because of that, I felt like, man, I want to, Part two, <laughs> I wanted to see what does she conquer on earth, having conquered what she conquered in space. So th that was the experience I had, you know, and I, I, and the other thing too, throughout the film, I genuinely did not know where the story would go. You know, I, I seriously, you know, especially after Matt had died, I did not know the w with the way they crafted the movie, I would have been perfectly fine if they ended the story with Ryan um, not surviving 
Um, and, you know, I, I did not know if they were going to go that take that angle. But I'm glad that they did what they did. But I still did not. I was not able to predict how the story was going to end. And the story ending, um, the way that I just talked about, the way that it ended was amazing for me. It was inspirational for me personally. Uh, for, frankly, I walked out of this movie um, inspired in such a way that I, you know, I started to reflect on my own life. And that is the, the brink of what uh, a, a, a great movie does is when you can walk out of the film and, and take from it, um, a, 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 you know, just some inspiration for your own life. Just have an outlook for your own life to start asking yourself some questions about your own life and how you would change things in your own life, uh, given what you experience in the movie. And so because of that, I got to give this slice an extra bonus point uh, because it really inspired me in such a way that it made me reflect on my own life. That's how amazing of a time I had watching this film. But what about you guys? Did you guys feel inspired? By the end of this movie, throughout the movie, did you have any kind of physical reaction such as me, um, you know, clenching on, you know, to the movie theater, uh, the armchairs, uh, 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 the arms of the uh, chairs in the movie uh, out of the intensity of the movie? What did you guys think? What experience did you had uh, watching this film? Uh, what if you were to sum it up in one word, what word would you choose uh, to describe your experience throughout this film? Join the conversation comment on the section below and let me know what your thoughts are i'm gonna go ahead and give this slice a score and a verdict and for this slice the experience it gets 100 percent of 25 points plus an extra bonus point and that means it is a masterful slice now it is time to move on to trey's tweaks and this is where I take it up to three things that I would change uh, about this film that would have increased the score of this film. And for this movie, I only have one thing, and you guessed it, guys. If I would, I would have made it so that Matt gave more of an effort to save both of their lives at first. I still, of course, would have kept it. Again, you know, the way Trey Streets works is I'm not trying to change the overall direction of the film or change the overall uh, uh, points of plots that they were trying to get to, but just something that could have enhanced it a little bit better. And I feel like that this entire film would have been, at least for me, uh, it would have been enhanced a lot better if they had added something in there that showed that Matt tried to strive um, first for both of them to be saved and that he didn't give up or give in so easily, um, you know, to sacrifice himself. So that's the only thing that I would change uh, in this film what about you guys is there anything that you would have changed in this film perhaps that didn't bother you as much as it bothered me uh comment in the section below join the conversation what would be your tweaks uh if you were to change uh anything uh within this movie all right now it is time to move on to here it is, the movie pie itself, the score and the verdict for the movie. But before we do that, let's do a brief slice recap. If you guys remember, we said the screenplay was a good slice and it earned 19.5 points. The performances we said was a masterful slice and it earned 20 points. The visuals, we said it was also a masterful slice, bringing in six points. The audio, we said it was a masterful slice as well, and it brought in five points. The direction, we also said was a masterful slice, bringing in 21 points. And the experience, we said too, was a masterful slice, bringing in a total of 26 points. If you add all of that up, round it up, you get 98 points. Out of 100 points, that is 98%. But what does this mean for gravity? Well, let's find out. Gravity is an excellent movie. And if this movie was a pie, it would be totally tasty. So there it is, folks. That is my thoughts and 
uh, the score and the verdict that I have for Gravity uh, that I thought it was an excellent film. What about you guys? Did you think that it was as good as I thought it was? Maybe you thought it was more. Maybe you thought that it, it you know, hit that level of masterful uh, for you. But I thought it was an excellent movie, a highly excellent movie. Um, join the conversation. Tell me, guys, where you two um, give this movie a score and a verdict, where you uh, to give this movie pie. What would you declare this movie? If it was a pie, would you say it was totally tasty? Maybe you would just say that it was tasty. Uh, comment on the section below and let me know your thoughts. Uh, join the conversation. And speaking of that, here is the poll question for this movie pie. Um, would you rather see um, yourself being lost in space with all the equipment you need to return to Earth? Or would you rather be lost in the middle of a desert with no one in sight and no equipment or direction to get back home? Click here to vote on which one would you choose. Uh, it's a polling question. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'm really curious to see uh, what you guys have to say about that. And um, I, I thank you guys. Thank you so much for sticking it out uh, with another edition of A Movie Pie, this time for Gravity uh, being an excellent movie. Um, please, if like and if you like this video, subscribe. Consider subscribing. Become a member of our community. Join the conversation. I love uh, talking movies with people. So, uh, you know, this is an amazing opportunity uh, to do that if you join a conversation and more the merrier. Um, you know, hey, give this movie a thumbs up too if you like it, share it, and encourage your friends to subscribe as well if you think that they also enjoy uh, talking about movies if they are also a fellow film fan. This has been Trey McVell, and until the next slice of pie, peace out.